National Assembly Speaker Nosivu Mapisa Ngakula has instituted an investigation into allegations of sexual assault made by EFF MPs. During today's proceedings, EFF MP Naledi Chira accused the Speaker of allowing male security personnel to sexually assault women. This allegedly occurred on Thursday when EFF MPs were thrown out of the National Assembly for disrupting proceedings. However, Mapisa Ngakula, who has strongly refuted the allegations, says video footage of the incident will be reviewed. For more on this, we speak to the EFF spokesperson, Leanne Mateus. Very good evening to you. Thank you so much for joining us. I mean, we saw all of it playing out on air, the live visuals of the pushing and shoving. Talk to us about uh, your, your reaction towards what transpired. Uh, thank you, Paul, for having us. Look, this is nothing new. Uh, we went through exactly the same thing under the Zuma administration. Uh, whenever EFF pushes to hold the executive accountable, this is the response that we get. So it's really just a reflection uh, of the ANC and the ANC-run parliament that they are hell-bent on making sure or blocking, actually, uh, members of parliament from holding the executive accountable. Um, during the Zadva Commission, if you can remember clearly, there was a lot of submissions and a lot of questions around uh, what was happening in Parliament. How did all the corruption and all that happen when the members of the executive are supposed to be reporting to Parliament? But it's because of precisely things like this that happen, that members of Parliament are stopped or blocked from making sure that we hold the executive accountable. So it's not new. It's yeah. something that we expect from the ANC. They lack, they lack um, political awareness in terms of gender. I mean, we even had an ANC member of parliament saying that women must behave. It's the same thing. The gender-based violence that we're experiencing here in South Africa and worldwide as well is because of the same patriarchal uh, indoctrination that we have and that we haven't shackled uh, or released ourselves from the shackles of it. And we have members of, of parliament that don't even try to recontentize themselves and become more uh, gender aware on their comments and their attitudes towards women. Assault and sexual assault allegations have been raised here. Talk to us about that. Well, they're not raised. It has exactly happened. I mean, you can see what happened yesterday, even what happened uh, here today. So we have gone to open a case. Uh, and this is not new. We had, uh, in the previous administration, we had one of our MPs who lost the baby. She was pregnant, she was thrown out of parliament, and she lost the baby. So these things, they happen. We make